everyone, Miss Sam here and welcome back to the Cerritos Library for another story time. Right now we're in February and February has a lot of holidays in it, but my favorite is Valentine's Day. That's the one with the chocolate. So Valentine's Day is all about love and it doesn't have to be just for one specific person. It can be for your family, your friends, your mom, dad, teachers, your favorite story time teacher. Uh, so. First, we're going to do a very special book about what nice Valentines might happen if you weren't a person, if you were a dog or a cat, a giraffe. So our first book is called Be Mine, Be Mine, Sweet Valentine by Sarah Weeks, published by Laura Granger Book, an imprint of HarperCollins. So here we go. <gasps> it's a doggy. Be mine, be mine, be mine alone. Sweet Valentine, for you are a, what could it be? Bone, that's right. Our little doggies would love some bones. Here we go. Be mine, be mine, your love's a dream. Sweet Valentine, for you some, hmm, what could kitties want? Cream, yum. Be mine, be mine, please grant my wish. Sweet Valentine, for you are a, hmm, what could the swans want? Fish, ooh, I love fish. I think they love fish too. Be mine, be mine, I'm yours, I am. Sweet Valentine, for you are a, what do we have? We have otters. What could otters like to eat? Clams, yum. Be mine, be mine, our love is true. Sweet Valentine for you. Hmm. What do pandas eat? That's kind of tricky. <gasps> bamboo. Ooh. I've had bamboo shoots myself. <gasps> be mine, be mine. Give love a chance. Sweet Valentine for you. Some. Hmm. This is an ant eater. What do we think they might eat? That's right. Ants. I would personally not like to eat some ants. <laughs> Be mine, be mine, please make my day. Sweet Valentine, for you some, we have a horse. What does a horse eat? Hay! Ooh, look, the hay is in the shape of a heart too. Ooh, be mine, be mine, I think you're dandy. Sweet Valentine, for you some, what could it be? Ha! Candy! Oh, that's so good, candy and a balloon and some hearts. The end. Very good, my little ones. I hope you enjoyed learning what some animals or other people might enjoy for a Valentine's Day treat. Speaking of treats and something you may give as a, we're gonna go to Miss Rochelle right now and she's gonna teach you how to do a Valentine's Day craft that you can give to one of your loved ones. So here we go. Happy Valentine's Day. My name is Miss Rochelle. Today I'll show you how to make a 3D heart Valentine's Day card and a colorful flower made with a coffee filter. Join me in the art studio and we'll get started. The materials you'll need to make the 3D Heart Valentine's Day card are white paper or cardstock, different color of construction paper, glue, marker, a pencil, scissors, and a heart template. The first step is to take your template and draw a heart on the construction paper. You'll need to make 10 different hearts using the different color construction paper and then cut them out. After you cut them out, you'll have your 10 hearts. Okay, you're gonna take your white paper or cardstock and fold it in half. You're gonna take one of the hearts and put glue on it. Then glue it right on to the cardstock. With the rest of the hearts, you're going to take them and fold them in half.
Now we're gonna put glue on the heart. I'm going to take these and then place them on top of the heart. Now we're going to place glue on this. And the last heart you're just going to place on top. There you have your 3D heart. Then in the inside, you open it up. You can take your marker and write a special message to somebody you love. The materials you'll need to make the flower are markers, a spray bottle filled with water, wax paper, pipe cleaner, a coffee filter, and tape. To make the flower, I put a coffee filter on top of wax paper so you don't get water and markers on the table. You're going to take the coffee filter and make it as flat as you can. You're going to take a couple markers, however many you want, to color the coffee filter. You can just take the markers and as, cover as much as the coffee filter as you can. Once you finish coloring, you're going to take your spray bottle and make sure it's on the mist setting and lightly spray the coffee filter. After your coffee filter is fully dried, it should look like this. Okay, now you're going to take your coffee filter and fold it in half. And fold it in half again. Then open it back up, and with this half, you're going to place the pipe cleaner, just like that, and you're going to tape it down. Then you're going to close it back up. You're going to tape the edge right here. You're going to take it just like this. And now your flower is complete. I hope you had a great time creating a Valentine's Day card and a flower. Here's Miss Sam with another exciting story. Hi everyone, Miss Sam back again. I really hope you enjoyed that craft with Miss Rochelle. I'm sure a beautiful card and a really pretty flower is great for your special Valentine. So we're going to do a little Valentine rhyme right now. We're going to practice our numbers counting backwards from five. So we're ready. We're going to go five little Valentines sitting in the store. Amelia bought one and then there were, what's five minus one? Four. Four little Valentines all shaped like a V. Bryson bought one and then there were three. That's right. Three little Valentines saying, I love you. Tristan bought one, and then there were how many? Two. 
two little Valentines. This is so much fun. Hudson bought one, and then there was how many? How many do we have left? One. That's right. One little Valentine sitting on the shelf. You know, it looks so cute that I bought it for myself. Good job, everyone. So we went five, four, three, two, one. Good job. So we're gonna read one more book talking about our Valentines. Our next book is called "Never Too Little to Love" by Jeannie Willis and Jan Fernley, published by Candlewick Press. Hmm. We have a mouse, and a mouse is very small, right? I think mice are still very deserving of love, even if they're little. Here we go. This is Tiny Too Little. He loves somebody, but she's way up there, and it's a long, long way if you're tiny. If you really want to kiss, so he tries to reach her. He's far too little, even on tiptoes, on a thimble. He's too little. Even on tiptoes, on a matchbox, on a thimble. Oh, we're gonna get something bigger. Here we go. He's too little. Even on tiptoes, on a watermelon, on a matchbox, on a thimble. Oof. We gotta get something bigger, guys. Right? Ooh, how about here? He's too little. Even on a teacup, on a watermelon, on a matchbox, on a thimble. Oh my goodness. Oh, here we go. He's still too little. Even on a cabbage, on a teacup, on a watermelon, on a matchbox, on a thimble. Oh my goodness! What else can we get? Here we go! Here we go! <gasps> Oof! He's still too little. Even on a candle, on a cabbage, on a teacup, on a watermelon, on a matchbox, on a thimble. Oh my goodness! What else can we do? Here we go! <gasps> He's far too little. Even on tiptoes, on a clock, on a candle, on a cabbage, on a teacup, on a watermelon, on a matchbox, on a thimble. What else can we get, guys? What else can we get? How about a cupcake? Maybe the cupcake will be enough. <gasps> But he's still too little. Even on a cupcake, on a clock, on a candle, on a cabbage, on a teacup, on a watermelon, on a matchbox, on a thimble. Oh my goodness! What else are we gonna do? Here we go. We've got little mouse stilts. <gasps> But he's still too little. Even on tiptoes, on stilts, on a cupcake, on a clock, on a candle, on a cabbage, on a teacup. On a watermelon, on a matchbox, on a thimble. Okay, he reaches way up. But wobble, 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 crash! Oh no, our tiny two little fell, oh, dear. Topsy too tall sees tiny too little, and she loves him, but he's way down there. It's a long way down if you're tall, but it's an even longer way up if you're tiny. So she bends down and gives him a great big kiss, Mwah! which goes to show that even if you're tiny, you are never too little to love. The end. That was fun, guys. Right? Oh my goodness! Definitely be careful if you're trying to get taller. You need to make sure you are on very solid things to stand on. Definitely never stand on a cabbage. I'm sure it would break. So that is it for our story time today. We hope you enjoyed it. Happy Valentine's Day to you all. We love you. We miss you. Please be safe. Wear your mask. Wash your hands, and we'll see you when we can. Have a good day, everyone. Bye.